Contemporary Christian music band We The Kingdom is headlining the huge Unity Fest event hosted in Charlotte this Saturday by John 316 Ministries. This spiritual boot camp for men with addiction celebrated 20 years of changing lives earlier this month. It's a refuge for men to come and heal spiritually, physically, and emotionally. Joining us now is Brent Waugh, a graduate of John 316. And Brent, thank you so much for being here with us today. Yeah, thank you for having me. So first, I do want to talk a little bit about what we just said, the 20-year celebration that you guys just had. Tell me a little bit about everything that went on that weekend and, and how special of an event that really was. Absolutely. We had uh, over 400 graduates at the ministry that night, you know, and the graduates are uh, the fruit of the ministry. It is proof that we actually work. Um, so it was uh, it was great to see them all. You know, you couldn't walk down the hallway without hugging somebody. Mm -hmm. It was it was a big family reunion is how it was and uh, powerful and moving and uh, ready to impact the next 20 years. I got so. you. That's awesome. So, you know, last weekend was for the graduates. It was that that family reunion. But this weekend is for pretty much everybody. Tell me about Unity Fest going on this weekend. Yeah. So Unity Fest is a is a fundraiser that we're going to be having at the campus. It's a, a live concert. Uh, but the day's going to start off with a, a live auction. Mm -hmm. uh, gates open at nine o'clock. Dinner or not dinner. Uh, the auction starts at <laughs> ten o'clock, and, and then it moves over into uh, the play area. You know, carnival rides. We have mm -hmm. six carnival rides. Bounce houses, face paints, balloon animals for kids, um, and then you know the only thing that costs money there is concessions, and that's a very small charge. Um, and then it moves into the night of. Uh, we the Kingdom opened up by The Young Escape, and, okay. and we're looking forward into that. So we got fun for the whole family, and like you said, it's free except for concessions, so no charge at all for, for any of this outside of the, the extras there, right? That's correct. That yeah. is so awesome. So, And that's for the concert too, right? The yeah. Free, free music. You can't beat that. You yeah. can't beat a free concert. Yeah. Uh, and so every year at John 316, there's always some sort of giveaway. That's mm -hmm. I remember back when the mall was still open, we'd always walk by that weekend of, and they'd have a four-wheeler or a side-by-side -side or you know, whatever. What, what can someone walk away with? This weekend at Unity this, Fest. This weekend is a, a Spartan Intimida uh, Intimidator, Spartan diesel powered lawnmower. Okay. Yeah. That is a diesel powered lawnmower. That yeah, it's got some uh, power behind it. Yeah, it's like a, if <laughs> Batman had a mower, this would be his mower. <laughs> I love that. That's a selling point right there. If Batman had a lawnmower, I absolutely love that. So let, yeah. let's uh, talk about something else real quick. Not about Unity Fest, but more about John 316 and how this ministry is able to save lives. I know that you have you know a first person view of this. So what is it about John 316 that, that helps men to change their lives? Well, we take a guy in on his worst day. Um, which shows that we love that man. Um, and I know firsthand that that was uh, not something I had. Uh, I had a family, but they were loving me to death. Mm -hmm. uh, John 316 Ministries offers an opportunity for a man to become a man. Uh, take him in, uh, feed him some food, help give him a purpose, and, uh, and show him the right person to, to follow. Um, that we teach about Jesus, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, so we, we teach that man how to, uh, to be set free. You know, there's freedom in following. Uh, there's freedom in knowing who created you and, and what purpose he gave you. That is amazing. And that will be on display at Unity Fest this weekend. Yeah. Brent, thank you so much for being here and joining us today. It's looking like the weather is going to hold up pretty well for the weekend and hopefully between now and then, Aaron. Yeah, we got a...